Eric Mwaga with Mwaga.com. Let's take a review, take a look and see what we can learn from Nintendo's move today. Up, let's call it about 25, 26%. Nice gain for the day. So what's the story here in terms of the technical analysis? And really, to be honest, not a big surprise that the stock is spiking again. Now, keep in mind, if you go back to the initial spike, there was a spike on this day, followed through here. That's a big deal. So that follow through was an indication of intent. And then there was even another bigger explosion on the third day. So that kind of follow through tends to be an idea into the sense that the stock might be looking to do something tremendous. And then also we noticed that there was a two day rest period. So there was a two day rest period during this day, closed lower. And then day number two, closed lower. As you know, we need at least two days of rest. After those two rest periods, the stock went on another explosive move. It gapped up above the previous daily closing high. So it broke out in essence, followed through again with another huge gap up and then another third day gap up. So we have twice, two instances where the stock is gapping up and following through on two additional days. That was intent and desire that was well demonstrated. So let me show you what I was looking at when I was highlighting this for subscribers and I just did a quick search on my site and I see here the last time I mentioned the stock was let's call it August 25th of this year and again before that two days before on August 23rd and the prices we were talking about was when the stock the last time was when the stock was trading at about 2748 so why was I looking at the stock as a potential candidate for our subscribers and it's actually very simple at the time about a couple of weeks ago the stock had just come back after breaking out on a monthly chart so above this level here so we were looking to own the stock somewhere around here okay so that was the idea the breakout had already taken place and you'll see here that there was also the possibility that this was very interesting to me because I could see the stock had a chance of breaking out to three year highs, which as you know, is one of the minimum requirements. So I could see that potential for a breakout to three year highs. RSI breakout was met. And then if you take a look also at the MACDs, they did meet the minimum requirement. In fact, they were well above three year high levels. So. We can see here that the main MACD and the secondary MACD were all breaking out. So you combine that with the RSI potentially moving to three year highs and you have a situation where a stock can go into an explosive run. So today's 26% move is pretty much not a surprise. It is what happens when stocks meet the minimum requirement for a quality breakout. And of course, we should not downplay the fact that the stock was trading well above the magic number here of 69.1. The more it stays above 69.1, the more you are going to get this type of an accelerated move. Don't believe me? Let's take a look at the long-term picture for Nintendo. And the biggest moving period for the stock, and it is a fact, is this period here. This is when the stock has had the longest sustained explosive move it so happens to be that that's also when the stock was holding above 69.1 all right so again holding above 69.1 tends to increase the odds for an explosive run a couple of other observations as a side note there's a lot we can spend hours looking at this chart there's so much to learn from it and we can also see that there was a breakout or what I call a primary trend line break. Take the previous monthly closing high. And for example, it connects nicely with this monthly closing high there. And this monthly closing high, you get a trend line. It's a primary trend line. Why? 
because it connects to an important all-time previous, in fact, all-time current monthly closing high. So that breakout after that was always going to be a strong breakout, relatively speaking, because it is a breakout based on a primary trend line break. So again, this was a primary trend line because it was breaking out above a trend line connecting to an important all-time monthly closing high. So this move, pretty much to be very honest, from a technical standpoint is solid. And also recently, don't forget that we had this sharp angle of penetration, what I call the map or the more the angle of penetration. You can take a look at this on my YouTube channel. And here with a sharp angle of penetration, guess what? The stock is doing the same thing again. So there again, we see that we should always be looking for stocks that have already demonstrated sharp angles of penetration as they move above 69.1. And again, today we see another sharp angle of penetration as the stock moves above 69.1. So lots of information on this chart. Let's see how things go. Eric Moada with Moada.com as always. Good luck. Peace. And blessings, don't forget, in the description, I should have the two videos where I previously discussed this stock before today's explosive move. And this mention was during this period here, let's call it late August, a couple of weeks ago, about two weeks ago. Maybe even about a week ago. Eric Moada with Moada.com. Ah, I am out. Mwah, peace, peace, peace. Not pieces as in divide, but peace, calmness, you know, peace of the heart. I am out. Mwah, mwah. He says. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun.